nice to see you. Hi, how are you? This is Homer, Pastor. Hello there. Nice to see you. As you want to gather around, we'll have a sample sure. picture. Sure. Thank you. Get over here. Pretty one. Pretty one. Thank you. Well, <laughs> there was a little girl back in Eureka, Illinois. <laughs> receive the annual report from the college. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mr. I, Mr. President, uh, Mrs. Penn has some photographs that you think you'd be interested in seeing. From the Zygers, if you were part of Zygers. This is a real old one right here. <laughs> now, my mother wrote these articles, and uh, she was a uh, writing uh, for a newspaper there. Yeah, they were yeah uh -huh. that's my brother right there. <laughs> so uh, we wanted you to have these. And um, I can't find, we can't find any more, but I know Mother has uh, had a number of other ones. And we're going to look through uh, her things. Uh, and if you'd like to have more, if we find them, we'll uh, get them to you. All right. Gosh. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very and much. And I'd like for you and uh, Mrs. Reagan to have this. I'm an artist. And, yeah. and this is, uh huh. Yeah. My brother and I painted uh, together in Cannon Beach in, the, in Oregon. Oh. And so. I'd like for you oh, to have that. Thank you. That's lovely. It's a uh, haystack rock, uh -huh. which is the famous mm. one there. Well, thank you very much. Very happy to have you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. thank you. Mm -hmm. It's just a oh, of souvenir. Thank you. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. I hope you read my clippings. <laughs> yeah, that, that was for when you were going to be a radio. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, Here's that set there. We haven't mm. taken it. This shows that we passed the inspection. Well, Inspector General's 
presented their fifth report to you the other day and delivered $22.3 billion, again, in cost savings and avoidances. And last year, we lost one of our top inspector generals, is Paul Boucher. And Mrs. Boucher is here with us today. Okay. And <coughs> it, was, it was a sad loss for us. But what the inspector generals did is they did get together and decide that in the honor of Paul that they would give an award for the top performance for the year to somebody within the IG community who had delivered most on your promise basically to reduce waste, fraud, and abuse. Larry Cressy is the award winner this year, who is the Associate Inspector General over at the Department of Transportation. And what he did was he found that there was bid rigging in an airport construction project. It was an airport within it. Yes, sir. And he thought that this might be going on throughout federal government. And yesterday in the Washington Post, if you noticed, there was a machine, a computer that was developed to show for automation analysis and auditing of bid rigging. And it was a result of much of the work that Larry did. And um, the construction projects went down 10 percent in cost as a result of his effort. He came up with 188 indictments, 134 convictions. And so we're very proud of him. And he is our first award winner for this year. And uh, an honorary runner-up runner -up is Bob Martin who is <coughs> in the back over there. And Bob is uh, with the Department of HUD and is an auditor over there. He's been working on the internal controls and he's been doing super work over there. So we're very proud of him. And the, uh, this day we're here to honor Larry Cressy and Bob and give the award. Well, well I, I'm going to use the here because I just have some notes I put down here. Make sure that I, you know, there's always, if you don't have something like that, I found out there's always three speeches that made, you make. The one you intended to make, the one you make, and the one on the way home you wish you'd make. <laughs> so this, this avoids that and gets it down to one. But I am pleased to award the Paul Boucher Award today because it honors a basic principle in which I believe very strongly, the application of individual initiative and achievement for the betterment of the community. And restoring the American people's faith and respect in their government was one of my promises. And together with public servants like Larry Cressy, working hard in the inspectors general offices of the departments and agencies, we're keeping that promise. And Larry, you've demonstrated accomplishment and dedication resulting in actions of national impact. And I know, though, that this award has an additional special meaning, however, it honors Paul Boucher, known for his outstanding contributions in IG and law enforcement communities. And his tragic death a year ago this month saddened not only his loved ones, but also those who knew of his extraordinary work in the battle against fraud and waste. And I know that this award has special meaning to you personally, since you and Paul were friends and colleagues for many years. This award conveys the administration's total commitment to achieving our goal of an honest, effective government. But it also encourages other government employees to aspire to the high standards of service that Paul Boucher represented and which you have met. And I'm also happy to present a letter of recognition to Robert Martin for outstanding investigative efforts and expertise which is making inroads against fraud, waste, and abuse in the federal government. So I want to congratulate you both. Wish you well. Mary, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks for all that you've done. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Well, all right. So pleased to be able to do this. And knowing what it represents and what it means and what you've all been doing on this particular subject. That's why I remain more optimistic than some of the people that don't know all that's going on. And I know things are getting better. They are, Mr. President. The PCI is working. It was a great concept when you started. I just received an award myself. Not an award, really. No, a presentation is gentleman who makes the quill pens for the lawyers who appear before the Supreme Court has presented me with a set. And I didn't know whether to tell him or not. I have a Hollywood story about it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember back when the great English actor was making all those pictures 
mm. Warner Brothers, where I eventually ended up under contract, where he played Disraeli and played all these mm. characters and prime ministers and so forth of the past. Well, every year in those days, the studio used to send salesmen out to the theater chains and uh, to kind of tell them about the new product and find out what they wanted, what kind of pictures and all that they wanted. And uh, so one salesman went to a chain of Southern theaters, came back with this word that when he'd asked them, well, you know, how have the pictures done and what would you like to see? And the fellow that owned the theater said, well, there's one thing I do know. I don't want no more of them pictures where the hero writes with a feather. <laughs> <laughs> well, This is so great of you to take time out of your busy day like this to see me. Well, happy to do it. Oh, this is Hi. great. Hello there. <laughs> Mr. President, how are you? Just fine. Yeah. Good to see you. Two years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's your turn to come to our house. Oh, so you got to come to our house <laughs> next. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can we work that out? Well, come over here and do that. Dang it. <laughs> this is so great of you to do this for me. Well, oh. Pleased to do it. All the family says hi. My mom says hi. Philip says hi. <laughs> he's yes, over in Germany. That? Oh, he's doing real good. He loves it. Oh, that's great. He does. And Cheryl is uh, her hubby's going on the USS Coral Sea, mm. and uh, so just moved to Chesapeake, Virginia. And our son Paul Jr. is doing well with his kids. And Linda out in Las Vegas. So yeah. <laughs> scattered all over. Yeah. How's the first lady? Just fine. Does she have a good birthday. Yes. That's good. That's good. A little in advance of we were at the ranch in California and observed the birthday about four days early. Oh, that's great. That's great. Oh, you look so good. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's because I've just been to the ranch for a few days. Oh, you look great. You're such a doll to do this, really. <laughs> yeah, we got five grandkids now. Would you believe that? Of what? Five grandchildren now. Well, for heaven's sakes. Isn't that something? Yes. Just think, 41 years. Yeah, <laughs> no. I just, you just, I, I can't tell you how great you are to do this for me. I just love you. But Dolores, you're a very special lady. There must be some reason why you've been so special for all these years. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, the president's been very loyal to me. I know that. Well. <laughs> I know it's been a it's been a pen and ink relationship. <laughs> sure it has. Yeah. But boy, what a pen and ink relationship we've had though. Spanning all the did you realize in nine years it'll be fifty years? I'm afraid to count. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great though, doesn't it? I'd like to I'd like to be able to celebrate fifty years. Uh, well. <laughs> okay. Yes. 